Welcome back. I'm Olivia. Olivia is Romantic Carmen. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you some over the top, beautiful romantic floral arrangements. These are going to be Bridgerton inspired, which is that new Netflix series, which is a beautiful period drama and it's a little spicy. <laughs> so if you guys love to craft and decorate on a budget, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook page and Instagram. And without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns. Get out your glitter, paint, and florals, and let's get to crafting! If you love romantic decor, this DIY is going to be for you. So I grabbed it, two of these oversized jumbo planters from Hobby Lobby, taped them off, and using 2X Gold Rust-Oleum spray paint, I painted the top and the bottom to give them kind of a Regency flare um, or kind of Victorian flare. Then I'm going in with this pale pink paint by Bear. It's called Pink Wink. And I used two coats and I'm simply going to brush my planters. And um, I did have to go back over the gold because I got a little drippy with my paint, but I'm a, definitely a messy painter. Now, these planters and floral arrangement are going to be inspired by the new Netflix series Bridgerton, which I absolutely love the aesthetic. It is so, so beautiful. The next thing I want to do, I have some Dollar Tree chargers popped down in these planters to elevate the planter. And then I'm going to take some floral foam and pop that in. I'm simply going to hot glue all edges of the floral foam. And then I am going to piece apart, piece by piece, this beautiful wisteria bush. This was also from Hobby Lobby and it was 40% off. So it made it about 20 bucks and some change. And I'm gonna hot glue the ends of each piece of the wisteria bush. That way it really holds into that styrofoam really, really well. Now, I ended up grabbing three wisteria bushes and I used one in each planter of the kind of purplish blue and then a white one mixed in. I'm also gonna use that palm to give this arrangement a little bit of height. I just felt like it needed to be elevated just a little bit and I didn't have enough wisteria to really fill out the center. Let me know what you guys think though. So I'm simply going to be adding in the purpley blue wisteria and then I pieced apart the white wisteria and then also from Hobby Lobby, I grabbed a bundle of the pink roses. These are kind of just the more inexpensive ones. Um, and then I'm gonna use some of my greenery left over from the last DIY that I shared with you guys in this planter and just kind of add that up underneath the wisteria and hopefully this is wisteria if it's not you guys correct me um but uh the, the beautiful draping floral um and so i'm adding the greenery up underneath it and then kind of just cascading down this planter now you all can really get creative with this and this idea and this floral arrangement is inspired by the new Netflix series, Bridgerton, which I am crushing on, mainly for the aesthetic of it, but I do love the romantic drama. It's a period piece and nothing gets me um, more than romance. This is Olivia's romantic home. So please don't come for me if you liked the original planter. That is just fine and think you guys can get really creative and you can paint this planter any color you want or you can simply leave it as is it was gorgeous as is there was nothing wrong with it I simply wanted to give it kind of that Victorian romantic flair which as you guys can see by the backdrop drop of my outdoor patio I love the color pale pink it's such a soft romantic color and it really just makes my heart smile I feel like decorating especially our home decor it should reflect our hearts. It should re reflect our personalities because we are the ones that live in our homes. So I'm gonna do another um, floral range, but <laughs> there's my puppy dog, Benji Bear. We had to have a quick little puppy dog break. He was outside while I was crafting and it was a hot day. So he loves to go underneath this tree and just kind of cool off and poke around and just wait for mom. That's all he does. He just loves being right next to me and hanging out with me. And I was calling his name to get his attention so he could come say hi to you guys. But yep, I've got Vinci Bear. He's my little four-year-old terrier. So now back to the floral arrangement. So anyway, um, for this floral arrangement, I'm going to share with you guys the exact same floral planter, except for I'm just going to do it at a lower um, 
camera angle so maybe you guys can see it better from this angle and I also want to duplicate it so I've got the original one right next to it but again we're just going to add the palm into the center and then the beautiful blooming um, branches of bluish they're kind of a bluish purple flower what color do you guys think that is I would say it's more of a blue but it does have kind of a purple hue so again I'm adding the greenery letting it cascade over I'm mixing in the white florals now the white ones I did piece apart into smaller pieces to give it some dimension and then I'm just adding in those pink roses in and around the base of where that palm is I really wanted to mix up the textures I, I didn't want it to be all florals I wanted to have some greenery as well like it was really a custom hand design floral let me know what you guys are thinking about this so far now again for both of these planters I used three or I used two of the big bundles of blue ones and then one bundle of white one split in half and cut into smaller pieces and then I used two of the bundles of pink roses so I'm also going to share with you guys that the smaller little arrangements up at the top which I think I might do something different on my fireplace mantle but I am absolutely in love and crushing on how these florals came out i think they turned out beautiful i think they are so whimsical and romantic and just like the show bridgerton which my daughter and i are so crushing on and loving um they just have that beautiful romantic aesthetic it makes me just want to paint so many things in my house this beautiful pink color which i'm not going to because i don't want to regret it but <laughs> I might <laughs> I definitely have a lot more in that bucket of paint and the funny thing is um, fun facts here is I went to Lowe's and um, grabbed that or no it was actually at Home Depot and I went to the paint counter I ordered the paint and the gentleman at the paint counter asked what I was gonna be painting and I said I really don't have any idea and he just chuckled I said I am gonna be painting some things pink in my home though so here is the first project I hope to do many more and I hope you guys are loving it and thank you so so much for all of your kind comments so for the next part of the DIY I'm simply using um, two of these little mini columns. I actually got them for a dollar each at Hobby Lobby last season. You can find them back on the clearance wall at the very back of the store. Um, they had little chips in them, but I didn't care. I painted them gold and then went for it. So I'm making a similar floral arrangement and these are just with the scraps left over from my big floral arrangement. I'm gonna use the greenery that's gonna cascade down. I'm gonna use this beautiful purpley blue wisteria and um, just kind of let them pop out. And then I mixed some of the white ones in as well. I think these are absolutely gorgeous, you guys. Um, once I took a second look at this, I wasn't totally for sure if I should do, you know, these florals up top. But I wanted to try to kind of mix the big planters in. I would love to find some big vintage gold candelabras to put um, on either side of my mantle. But for now, I'm just going to use what I have. Don't look too closely because we need to finish the trim back behind my mantle. It's not really a real fireplace mantle. It's one that I found on walmart.com several years ago. But I'm simply trimming in and adding more cascading greenery because I had a lot more greenery left than I did florals. So I'm going to let you guys um, watch me work. I'm going to play some beautiful piano music for you.
so I added in some of these pretty little feathers I noticed in the movie Bridgerton in one of the scenes the lady was fanning herself with a pretty feather so I thought why not um, I just popped a couple into the arrangement let me know what you guys think about that a little bit different but I kind of love the textural element So thank you all so much for joining me out of their fun and fabulous crafting and decorating adventure. It's a true blessing and honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I am Olivia's Olivia's Romantic Home and I'm a DIY crafty mama. I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's booty gorgeous on a budget. I truly believe you do not have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. And for everybody that comes back and loves on me that has been a long time follower, subscriber, and commenter, thank you all so, so much. Your kind words truly mean the world. They inspire me to keep going on my crafting and decorating journey. Listen, and I want to hug all of your hearts so tight. I know we are all going through something and no matter what you're going through, try to look forward to the future with so much joy. Keep putting one foot in front of the other and never, never, ever give up. I love y'all. I can't wait to our next video. And until then, remember, be kind to yourselves, be kind to one another. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye. So slow, hold you in my arms, won't let go. Thunderstorm, a lightning strike as we hold each other.